Okay. I'm up. How do you copy? Copy. I got you loud and clear. Good. With the flaps. Okay, Pat, on the GPS, can you just put me direct K-I-N-T? All right. Okay, excellent. So, whenever we're out... Flying around, all we got to do is go direct again. Well, It'll get bring up. Ground, runway three three. It'll get to via box shut out. I wonder how it happened. Did that not take? Maybe not. Sometimes you almost got to mash the button, and I suppose. Oh. All right, here it is. Activate. Again, there we go. Okay. So whenever we're flying around, we want to come home. We just hit that again. It brings up Winston and go direct from the new spot. Right. And it's easy, immediate, no problem. Right. Okay. Good job, Laney. I got you on standby already. Right. All right. Get this weather. All right. Really one zero sky clear. Temperature one eight dew point minus eight out. Temperature three zero five one. Runway 33, new suspected missile approach. No stammering, runway 422 closed. Taxiway fire strikes closed from Taxiway Hotel to 1,100 feet northeast Taxiway Hotel. Taxiway fire strike closed from Taxiway Alpha to the approach into runway 4. All aircraft free back, all hold short structure signed out to the device of Zulu. Airport information, Zulu, 1654 observation, winds bearable to 5, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 18, dew point minus 8, out timber 3051. Runway 33, new suspected missile approach, no stammering, runway 422 closed, taxiway fire truck. All right, then you want us departing northwest? Yes, we'll go to the cowboy field. All right. So that's off northwest. Wait a minute, one, two, yeah, that looks about right. Make sure I'm on the right frequency time. Okay, so that's this panel down here. All right. There's 128.25 ground, that's tower. All right. And ATIS, and that's the air-to-air -air frequency in the practice area. We're All right. good. Okay. That's Greensboro VOR. Right. Greensboro VOR. That's the ILS into here. Okay. That may not mean much to you yet, but it right. will one day. All right. So you ready? I am ready to go, sir. All right. Hoisting ground, Cessna 7125, Quebec. Cessna 7125, Quebec, Western ground. Hoisting ground, Cessna 7125, Quebec, at the flight school ramp with Zulu request taxi for takeoff to Northwest. Cessna 7125, Quebec, runway 33, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha Cross, runway 4. Taxi via Foxtrot Alpha Cross, runway 4. Taxi runway 33, 7125, Quebec. All right. Clear left. Clear left. Middle and off okay. to the right. I'll keep my eye on Yankee. Ground, A5, Yankee All right. Ready to All right. The terminal ramp with Zulu. All right. A5, Yankee, west the ground, uh, runway 33, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, cross runway 4. And what's your direction of flight? Uh, northwest towards Mount Airy. Right. And taxi Foxtrot Alpha, cross 422, uh, A5, Yankee. All right, we're getting ready to cross a runway. Turn your headlight on, the landing light. There you go. 
Clear left. Clear ahead. And clear right. Right. Very good. Seven one four zero nine West Tower Runway three three. Make right. Close traffic. Clear for takeoff. There is one thing I haven't done on the radio as much. That's communicating in the practice area. But I've done it once or twice. Okay. But I have really. I made a cold call one time with Daniel about a week ago, two weeks. That's about all I've done. Okay. But everything else from over here, I've done it all. I okay. Back, take Good. It off. That's what I wanted to hear. That uh, you've done pretty much everything here at the field. Right. Out in the practice area, I'm not that concerned about. Right. Uh, that's to me more of an instructor responsibility. But yeah. now with you as a student, as a learning pilot, I want you to be able to do it here. Right. So. Um, so far, you're doing good. I'm going to set you to 153 on this thing. 153. All right. 153 on this. All right. And on the ground, your track is the same as your heading. So right. that and that sh and that should all be really close. All right. Is that a aircraft face to the right? I've never seen them face to the right. Say that again. I've never seen him do the run-up facing that way. Oh, me neither. I don't. Traffic, right. 12 o'clock, same altitude, zero miles. I do my run-up. I want to be cocked into the left a little bit. Right. Towards the Traffic, infield over here. Yeah. Because if we're cocked to the right and we lose brakes, guess where we're going? We're oh, going over the cliff. Way. Yeah. yeah. And that, will, that's, that one might hurt. Yeah. I know why they're doing it to to do that into the wind, right? But it's not that hot out. That engine's not going to overheat. Yeah. So you put you added a full court, right? So we yep. should be at 7.0. Yep. All right. Good. 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 And back three Western Tower. And you got the thing screwed back in. Right. Okay. Not too tight. Excellent. I used to put it in really tight, and it was hard to get it off. Next time I come to check it. Yeah, right. yeah. You only got to get it just fingertip tight, right. and you're fine. Head back here, link three. Roger, you say you're south of the airport? I figure I just do my run over right here. Air link three, Roger. Uh, oh, you want me to wait? Now, let's go down a little bit. Proof. I'll tell you what, Ben. We'll just get just past Taxiway Bravo, right. and then cock it to the left. Right. And that should give us enough um, distance on uh, this guy. What is that, uniform? Yep. I guess they're the ones that left. Right before us. Yeah. Yeah, those are the guys that went just before us. So let's slightly bring it over. Don't have to kick it too much of an angle. Right. Okay. Go to the run-up checklist. Brakes are good. You want me to leave the windows open or close them? Uh, uh, we'll close them before takeoff. All right. It's starting to get warm. Always leave yourself an idle at a thousand. Right. It's better on the engine. Flight controls, go to right, go to left, go back, go forward. You want to leave the mixture where it's at? No, let's go ahead and bring it in. All right. Throttle to 17 RPM. All right. All right, one click, drop, all right, both, two clicks, drop, both, RP on. Let's do that again. I didn't see that movement too much. Ah, oh, there it is. There it went, yeah. There it is. Yep, we're good. Idle with the RP on. Right. Good. Guess we got to wait on. Okay. I don't know what's taking them so long. <sighs> Maybe they're just young, early in their training. Possibly. Um, yeah, this is a good spot to stop, Ben. Really good judgment right there. Okay, you know what I do for before takeoff checklist? What? I cross the T. Cross the T. Left to right. Right. Top to bottom. In, on, in. Right. A thousand, full rich, 
flaps up. Right. Trim for takeoff, fuel on both, and give it a little altitude. All right. So, so this actually should be cross, be part of the cross the T. Right. And so you go left to right across, and then top to bottom. All right. After we leave the runway, after we land, we exit the runway, we do the same thing. Right. Except we do, you know, turn that off, leave that in, right. a thousand, lean for taxi, flaps up, trim for takeoff, fuel on both. Right. So crossing the T is a great, easy flow to get your before takeoff checklist complete. Right. Now, I didn't teach you that Traffic. before because Close I hadn't off. invented it yet. Yeah. <laughs> and I was still young. I wasn't really yeah, into you're, it like I how am old now. Are you, how old are you now? Uh, I'll be 17 next week. Holy smokes. I got a grandson your age. <laughs> Traffic, 12 o'clock. Yeah, when we first started, you were like 12. Yeah, I was like 11, 12 when we yeah, first started. Yeah, you were a little bitty kid. You needed a, a seat cushion. Yeah, to a get whole everything. Lot of, yeah, <laughs> but not anymore. And you're already a, a solo student pilot. Right. And you just hit 16. Holy smokes. Got 43 and a half hours now, I think. Really? Yeah, you, you're moving right along. We've been trying to do once a week here lately. It's been been doing once a week about for about almost a year now. When it hits my birthday, it's about a year. Okay. All right, so the windsock is kind of dead. If there's any wind, it's going to be from our left. Right. So if we get any crosswind for takeoff landing, it's probably going to be from the left. That's right. uh, 145. We need a four-wind tower runway 33. Make right clear traffic, clear for takeoff. Wind 280, 9 or gust to 16. 9 or gust 16. I'll be damned. I'm surprised. Yeah, me too. Uh, about a change. Yeah. I'm making sure it's the right one. Sometimes I get confused when I'm on my solo. Yeah, I leave it on the yeah, ground. Yeah, this this one is just a little bit different. Traffic, right. 12 o'clock. I'm used to them being right here for yeah, the first calm. So what do you normally fly? Uh, Uniform. Which is that one, and that's yeah. the big one. Got the big screen. I went from Yankee, then they took it out and put the glass cockpit in, so I switched back to Uniform, and then I just fly this every once in a while when Uniform's not available. Yeah. That's good right there. When you stop, right. always make sure that you see the hold short line, right. that when you stop, you can see the, all four stripes right. in the window. Right. If you get so close that the, the close ones get on the count, you're a little close. Right. And you don't know exactly how far you are at that point. Right. So as a good rule of thumb, keep all four lines clearly in the window. And this is, well, for me, it's perfect. Right. That's as good. I wouldn't go any closer than this. Right. Wilson Tower says the 7125 Quebec holding short runway 33, ready for takeoff. 7125 Quebec, Wilson Tower runway 33, proceed on course, clear for takeoff. Wind 27012, gust to 16. Alright, 33, clear for takeoff, remain heading 7125 Quebec. Alright, so we're out, cleared out to the northwest. Traffic, 6 o'clock, high, less than one mile. Now that guy behind us is also going to the northwest. Right. I have a little bit of a headwind from like uh, about 30 degrees to the left off the yeah. nose, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's been worse, way worse. Oh, last week was really bad. I saw I done my first solo to the practice area last week. Oh, really? I done it on, I think it was Wednesday. Okay. All right, baby, let's rock and roll. Do the t we got it all done. It's good, already done. Good. Let's right. go. With the tower, 71409er, midfield, right downwind, runway 33, for touch and go. The airspeed's alive. Looking for six runway Beautiful. Three, clear touch and go, 71409er. She just jumped off that runway. And tower uh, 85 Yankees holding short to 33. This 85 Yankee West Tower runway 33, proceed on course, clear for takeoff, wind 28010, gust to 16. A little bumpy, not too bad. 85 Yankee. Ah, gotten a little bumpier since I last flew. West Tower, yep. there's a 1451 uniform right midfield now, wind for runway 33. Got that traffic in sight. 
Change approved, seven one two five come back. Has it done to me that early yet? What tower uh yeah, Medivac early three is landing a short at the hospital. Alright, let's lower the nose Medivac just a touch. Alright. Go fly out at about eighty knots. Alright. And I think we fly a heading of about three zero zero like you got us. Alright. And that'll get us to cowboy. And let's go to four thousand five hundred. Right. Okay, good takeoff. Good climb out. Tower says now 1451 uniform. What like to do this touch and go and then depart to the uh, southwest? That's the 51 uniform, Roger. I think it's touch and go. You can turn left on course. Alright, after that touch and go, left on course, 51 uniform, thanks. Just an 85 Yankee, free exchange approved. Free exchange approved, 85 Yankee. Testify one uniform, freaks to change approved. Freaks to change approved, 1551 uniform. With the tower 71409 or midfield right downwind, runway 33 for touch and go. 7409 runway 33, clear touch and go. Wind 2907, gust 16. 7149 are cleared, so can go runway 33.
All right, let's run the power up to 22. All right. And just right there at the beginning of the green, aren't we? Take to get rid of the uh, carb heat. All right. That's a good idea. Put your power, put your carb heat in whenever you're below the green arc. All right. Daniel, teach you that, right? Yep. All right, good. Beautiful. How's the trim? Uh, uh, a little bit, yeah. A little bit more. Yeah, I added a little power, so yeah, you're going to need some. That's cowboy field down there, isn't that it? That is, that is, the big open one. Station 800 November Bravo, Winston Ground, clear to Alpha Delta Sierra Airport. Be in the treasure one departure box, transition right. minutes file. Maintain 4,000. Expect flight level 340, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is Greensboro 124.35, squawk 2233. Squawk 2233. November Bravo, zero November Bravo, Rebecca. Yeah, the winds are going to bounce us, bounce us around today. So, um, yeah, we better be careful. All right. Awfully hazy out here, isn't it? Yeah. Once we got this direction, yeah. the airport wasn't as bad. Yeah, it's, it is bad. It's like right past Pilot Mountain. Yeah. It's like going in a circle all the way around. Right. Let's start off with some steep turns. All right. Game for that? Yep. We'll do steep turns, do some slow flight, and do some stalls. All right. So let's do... Left your mind, with the group. Let's do a big clearing turn to the left. All right. And roll out headed at Pilot Mountain. All right. We'll, we'll use that as our visual reference day. point. Pilot Mountain Traffic, Skyhawk 7125 at the back, 10 miles south Pilot Mountain overhead, Cowboy Field, maneuvering 4,500 Pilot Mountain Traffic. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get back to 45. Sorry, get you nice, yeah, just get yourself on a nice even altitude. There you go. It's a little bumpy. A little I bit. Think, I think we can handle it. Okay, we're going to do one turn to the left, All right. hesitate, check traffic, and then one turn to the right, All right. 45 degrees of bank. As you roll in, add a little power. All right. Trim. Goes up, trim. Yeah, you got it all fixed? All right. All right. I'm ready whenever you are. Looks like we're clear of traffic. All right. 45 to the left, 
Increase a little power and a little nose up trim. Yes. All right. Trim as you wish. Okay, good. Ah, that convection stuff got us. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. Did you take the power out you put in? Yeah, I'll take it back oh, out. Okay, good. All right. Let's go to the right. All right. Does Daniel give you a sight picture off the cowling um, for your turns? He did before. All right. Okay. I, I got it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do... Uh, a steep turn. I'm going to stay at 5,000. All right. All right. Um, I want you to see, when I turn left, I want you to see the two rivet lines that go out the cowl. Right. The horizon line should be somewhere between those two sets of rivet lines. Right. Right. Boy, we're climbing. I still remember back in the day when you taught me the fist technique. Oh, yeah. For level level. Yeah, yeah, I still use that. Good. It, it works for yeah, the most part. And then on a climb, for a VY, you just put the top of the white cowling on the horizon line, and you're good to go. Oh, okay. All right, so here we go. I got my altitude. And we've cleared. All right. So I'm going to bring it in. Add some power. Get to 45. All right. See where the horizon is intercepting between those two rivet lines right. on the cowling? Yeah. Yeah. So use it as like a guide? Yeah, as, a, as a, just to get your pitch attitude right. Right. Where's Pilot Mountain? There she is. So, all right, there's that. Get my power back. Uh, don't lose your altitude, Wayne. All right, we're going to go to the right. And now, the horizon should be right below that. Right. Let's get back to 45, Wayne. Boy, I'm dropping altitude. Look at that. That's terrible. These winds are something else. You were climbing, now I'm losing. <laughs> All right, make it some, let's go back to four. And while we go back to four, I'll put some distance in for you. All right. All right, your flight controls. All right, my flight controls. Your flight controls. I'm going to just lean around just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. 
Boy, it's hard to fly with precision. Right. But just bumping around like that. I figured out, like, the other day I was flying with Nick, and he was like, you put equal pressure with your feet on the rudder, and then you, like, you put a little left in just to keep the ball in the middle. And for some reason, it helps me keep the plane more straight when I'm flying. It doesn't put as much, like, swivel in my rear end. I don't okay. know. I, so you do you keep pressure on both rudder pedals? I do now. Okay. Ever since I flew with Nick, yeah. All right. Man, seems like it's a good technique for you. All he right. said something about it's connected or something. I can't remember exactly how he said it. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, let's turn around head toward Pilot Mountain again. All right. We'll do one more set of steep turns and we'll do something else. All right. Probably slow flight. Not unless you want to go down low and do ground reference maneuvers, but that's up to you. Slow fly is fine with me. What's that? Slow fly is fine with me. Good, good. Slow flight is uh, always good to practice. It's kind of fun, especially in the, the high high winds. You can sit there and hover. Yeah, I know. They did that with me one time, and I thought we were going backwards. It felt like it, I'll bet. Okay, there we are, lined up. Oh, we can just do this at 43, don't All have right. to worry about it. All right, whenever you're ready. I think that was a good clearing turn. All right, clear. The left and head and the right. All right. Very good. Here, bring in just a touch more bank. All right. There you go. Ooh, look at you. Wow. He hop. Boy, that wind is kicking us around, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Trying to keep the middle of the line at the horizon. Yeah. Nice turn. Very nice. Ah, super duper. That was really nice. Really it kind of helps nice. me out with the line because then I feel like I'm not losing altitude if I stay along with the yeah, horizon. Yeah, you stay, you stay with the line. If you keep that reference line, right. you know, keep your reference with the inside, it works every time. It's way closer this time than it was last time. I was climbing a lot. Uh, this one, you nailed it. All right, we'll go to the right this time. All right, clear all directions. Yeah, we're good. And put the horizon just below this part. Right. Off a little bit on that one. Yeah, but you know, hey, you know, so there are some times in this kind of weather, right? It, it's just going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, and I don't know what to tell you. It's just like, no, don't, don't, don't sweat it. All right, let's go back to 45. All right. And uh, then we'll go and let's turn around, go back the other way. We'll climb and then we'll run into some slow flight. All right. Let's go climb with full power. All right. Always climb with full power. All right. Okay, I'm going to show you something real quick. Let's roll yeah. out. When you're climbing, put the top of the cowling right around the horizon line, right. and that'll get you VY almost every time in a Cessna, right. which is right there. All right, so anyway, you got the flight controls. I have flight controls. I have flight controls.
Daniel worked with you on your level off, didn't he? Yeah. Because you're doing it correctly. And I know Dan Daniel's a he's a stickler for proper level off procedure. And he's just like me. And I love the way you're doing it. Because, yeah, but you keep my palm on my hand like this, held it down, and reduced power, and then done trim after that thing settled out. Yeah, it makes it so much easier. Accelerate to your normal cruise speed, then pull your power back, then trim, bang, you do it once, yeah. and you're done. Maybe a little bit of fine tuning, but if you yeah. pull your power, as soon as you get the, air, the altitude, you're slowly accelerating, you gotta constantly adjust your, your trim. Yeah. Until you get to your cruise speed. Okay, um, where is the wind coming from? I, I think it's out of the, more or less out of the west. Let's turn west, 270, and we'll go slow flight. I'll tell you what, let's use um, 20 degrees of flaps this time. All right. We'll use 20 degrees of flaps, maintain 45, and uh, let me see. Um, See what speed do I want? Normally, I would want. Let's um. Speed of about 80, just to make sure. 80 knots, 4500, 270, slow flight. Can you do that? Yep. All right. 80 knots, 4500. Yep. Slow flight. All right. Carburetor heat. All right. Take that out. Bring your bring your power down to a roughly 1500. It doesn't have to be exact. This is just to help us slow down. I'll give us a little bit of mixture. We're getting the white arc. Yeah, hold your altitude. All right. All right, you're in the white arc. Go ahead and start bringing down those flaps. All right, I'll get you down to 20. There you go. We're at 65. I want to try to power. Off a little. Let's get your power back. Got your speed. You're below speed. Go to about 2,000 RPM. When you're flying slow flight, usually something in the vicinity of 2,000 RPM is where you want to be. Right. Looking good. Wow. Come right to a heading at uh, 360. All right. 360, and you're clear, right? Good. Alright, let's come right um, zero to a heading of zero nine or zero. Clear right. right. Keep it to about ten degrees of bank. That's all you need. Alright. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Tell you what, let's just take off just an ounce of power. Right. That's all. We're high and fast, so we're going to lose more power. Right. Trying to keep it at eight, not lose too much altitude this yeah. time. All right, let's come right heading one eight zero. All right.
That's a clear. Guy possum. A reminder that it's bumpy out here. Alright, let's resume normal cruise flight. Alright. Power first. Yeah, or oh, that simultaneous, I'll take that. All right, let's um, do a 180 All right. and head back towards uh, the direction of Pilot Mountain. And All right. we'll do a, you want to do another slow flight with more flaps or happy uh, with that slow flight? I'm happy with that one, that's fine. All right, let's do, um, let's do a power off stall. All right. Okay. For this power off stall. All right. Don't take it to the full brake. All right. Just get it to the buzzer. All right. And then we'll recover. I, with all this bumpiness. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's just take it to the bu buzzer. All right. And we'll recover straight ahead. All right. All right. So I'll let you walk yourself through this thing. All right. Remember, we need to establish a stabilized descent. All right. And, um... Let's make it like a normal approach. For me, it's normal. 20 degrees of flaps, come down, a stabilized approach at 65. Right. All right. Make it your car if you're ready. We're in the white art. Get this five. All right. Let's go ahead and get all the rest of your power out if you haven't already. All right, power and idle. And there's your 65. All right. All right, so we're on a stabilized approach to the runway. Right. Everything's going fine, and we get distracted. So let's just slowly bring that nose up until we get to the st stall warning buzzer, and then we'll recover. Right. There it is. Very good. Let's go back to 4,500 on this heading. Right. Go ahead and get some pitch and get some climb going. Remember, this is theoretically happening close to the ground, so we're going to want to keep our climb going. Right. All 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's do one more for fun. All right. That was good. All right. All right. Um, just stay on the setting. All right. Let's do another one, just like the other one. All right. Carburetor heat. Carburetor heat always comes first. in, comes out first. Okay. And goes in last. All right. So hold your altitude while you slow down. Okay. Very good. Now we're at 25 and idle. Yep, and our 65 idle looking good. Notice we had a stall warning horn. Right. Talk about that in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and slowly bring her up. All right. And on your throttle. Is that it? I think so. Right, let's recover. Just to be on the safe side. Absolutely. So let's get your pitch attitude. Put your nose on the horizon. That's it. Yoke up your flaps. that horn come on for I jerked it back to the center. Yeah. That's what I was that's what I figured but I wasn't sure exactly. Having me before in slow flight. What's that again? That happened to me before in slow oh, flight. Oh really? You're flying around minding your own business and all of a sudden you get a bump. Yeah. And you get the stall warning horn, right? Yeah. There's a reason for that, and I want to talk to you about that. Let's do a 180. All right. Pilot Mountain. Yeah. I haven't flew this close since I was with you a while ago. Last time I flew around it, I was with you. Is that right? Yep. We done, it was sort of a turnaround point when they went back to the runway yeah. the airport. Yeah, yeah. What happens in turbulent weather, and you're going slower, the wind bumps you, it bumps the angle of attack up, right. or down, and if you're close, it can be enough just to bump you, so the stall warning horn can go on. Right. So, a day like today, you want to give yourself a little margin right. above the stall, just in case. Right. All right I got flight controls. Uh, yeah, flight control. I got flight controls. All right, so here you are. You're flying around, minding your own business. Right. And let's say the altimeter freezes yeah. at this altitude. And there's nothing we can do to fix it. Right. Another, I mean, we dive, we climb, it stays the same. As a matter of fact, that stays at zero, too. Right. All right, so what about those malfunctions? What is that telling you? Which one? If you got a malfunction, that's blocked and that's stuck at zero, what does that mean? Pedo tube's covered. Yeah, it's clogged or something. Right. Uh, what could we do in that case? Um, not really sure. All right, see this button? Right. That says alternate static air. You just pull it out. Oh. And that closes off the vent out there right. to vents the uh, system inside the airplane. Right. So it's like uh, a secondary um, uh, static port. Right. It's a backup. So let's look at a few things when we go to the alternate static port. I got regular static on now. Right. Now, I want you to look at the altimeter when I pull it out. Right. It's in. Here it comes. Out. 
They gain in, out, in, out, in, out, in. So it goes up. Like what, one or two hundred feet? Yeah, exactly. Now, look at this when I go in and out. It's in, out, and it'll slowly come back to normal. Right. In, it'll slowly come back to normal. It goes up, it increases, it increases 500 feet. Yeah, it goes up, and then when you put it back in, it goes down 500 feet. So watch, in, out, 700. Yeah. Isn't that wild? I but it comes back to zero after a while, it readjusts. Right. And watch this, going to go in now. Bang, 700 feet. But it will correct itself. Right. So this is going to read a little bit high. That'll initially read way up or low, but right. it'll correct itself. Now let's look at airspeed. In, out. In, out. In, out. 500. Yeah, you, you pick up what? Uh, 450. About five knots or so? Yep. So then we're, we're, we, we've had to fly with the alternating, al alternate static port. Right. And we're coming to go into land. Should we fly our approaches a little bit fast or a little bit slower? Um, Remember, this is reading higher with the alternate static port. So a little bit faster? Correct, Amundo. So with alternate static port, altitude's a little high, airspeed's a little high. That initially jumps but comes back to reading normal. Right. Okay? Right. So learn something new today? Yep. All right, good. Now, let's see what else can we do. Ah, I got another one. These operate normal. But that goes to zero and stays. And it doesn't matter what you do. Climb, dot, it stays at zero. What's right. wrong? Um. That, the static port? Not static. Probably pedo tube. Oh, okay. Pedo tubes. Could be iced up. Might right. have some residual water in. That's right. iced it up. What could we possibly do to maybe try to unclog it a little bit. Um, go to a lower altitude and slow airspeed. Yeah, maybe. Or how about turn on some pedo heat? Right. That pedo tube gets really hot. Yeah. So if there's any water in there, it'll it'll melt ice and evaporate water. Yeah. So that could clean it. Or if there's something stuck in there, you might burn it out. So yeah. um, that's always an option if you suspect your pedo tube is is uh is clogged right all right so um we've talked clogged static port right and clogged pedo tube right um so we're flying along minding our own business new situation now and um this light comes on and this starts to go to the left right what do you think's happened high voltage yeah, so when this light comes on, there's an over-voltage. Right. And the system automatically disconnects the alternator from the electrical system. When that uh, happens, this light's on. Right. And you're running strictly on battery. Right. Okay? So, but the system has disconnected the alternator. Right. New situation. No light, but this starts to go to the left anyway. What does that mean? Battery? Yes, you're, you're, st you're draining the battery. Right. Now, you don't have an over-voltage, but there is something that is, the alternator's not either working or it's not working at its normal capacity, right. and so the battery's got to carry some of the load, and it shouldn't. Right. The alternator should carry the entire electrical load and recharge the battery. Right. All right? So... The difference is, in situation one, with the light on, there's an over-voltage, and the system has disconnected the alternator. You are definitely on battery, yeah. 100%. On the other hand, if you go left on amps, negative side, and there's no light, that means there's no over-voltage, but there's something wrong with the alternator, and you're maybe partial on partial battery or full battery. Right. So what, do you, what can you do if you suspect that the alternator is not producing, uh, recharging the battery, what can you do? What do you want to do first? The end game is to get on the ground. Yeah, get on the ground. And 
in the meantime, preserve all your electricity. Right. So what can you do to maybe um, preserve your battery? Turn off second comms and put the strictly on the first comms. No, yeah, just turn off what you don't need. Right. We could turn off the GPS if we don't need it. Right. We could turn off one of the radios. We could turn off some of the lights. Yeah. And if necessary, we could turn off the uh, transponder. Right. Okay, so those are some things we can do to reduce the electrical load on the air, on the on the battery. Right. And when you call tower in a situation like that, you would say, Winston Tower, 7125 Quebec, 10 miles northwest, inbound for landing, full stop, be advised, we're running on battery only. So if we lose transmission, you know, that's be prepared. Why. So what he could do is say, Roger, um, you're cleared to land. And he may clear you to land, you know, right. 10 miles out. But just be sure to tell him that you're without battery and don't know how long you're going to have communications ability. Right. So um, so those are things you can do. Um, uh, let me see what else. Oh, let's say we're flying around. New situation. And then we... Um, encounter a rain shaft and it's cold outside right. we don't see it coming we encounter it it covers the plane in water and we get iced right and so we're potentially in icing conditions what can we do now we want to go home as fast as we can yes right. but in the meantime what can we do to make things a little bit better in terms of the ice Turn the heat up. Like yeah, okay. Cabin so you heat, pedo heat. Turn on the cabin heat, which automatically adds to your defroster, which right. is right over here. Excellent. Cabin heat. What else? Pedo heat. I agree. Pedo heat. Excellent. What else could you do? Um, could get carburetor icing. There's water out there, you know. Turn the carb heat on. Carb heat on, and I would give it a little more power. Right. Just to keep the engine warm. And keep it leaned because the engine runs um, uh, more efficient, efficient and warmer when it's leaned right. than when it's uh, full rich. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. So, let me get that off. Oh, and you know what else we could do? Just in case the pedo, pedo, the static source ices, pull this out. Right. So, that's things that we can do to prevent further icing or further icing problems. Right. But the bottom line is we need to get our butt on the ground. Right. All right. So those are some contingency things that you'll probably need to know for your check ride. Right. Okay. I wanted to, I, I'm not sure if anyone's actually spent time going over some of that with you, but I, I wanted to do that. Right. And that's the first time I heard about that stuff like yeah, that. We need to, we, as pilots, we need to be aware of what could go wrong. Right. Um, if the engine starts, let's say the oil temp starts to get up really high, right. we don't like it, what are some things we can do to help keep the engine cool? Um, we'll, we'll put the mixture in all yeah, the way. all the way. And if we've got altitude to trade, go into, we pull the power back a little bit and start a gradual descent. Right. And that puts more cooling air over the cylinders, right? Right. And plus, with reduced power, the engine's not creating the amount of heat. Right. And certainly, you, if you don't like it, you need to get going home. Right. All right. So, when's the last time you did an engine out? Engine out stall? Not a stall, but just an engine out procedure. Uh, I can't remember. All right. You want to do one? Yep. You think you can remember the A, B, C, D, E? Uh, maybe. maybe. Let me walk you through it, buddy. All right, so first things first, we're going to pull that out. Right. All right, now, we just lost our engine. Oh, best So glide we go speed. through A, B, C, D, E, A, airspeed. Right. Best glide speed. What is best glide speed in the L model? Um, five. 80, eight zero knots. All so, right. So we'll trim it for 80. B. Best place to land. Right. Oh, back there on Cowboy Field, I'll right. bet. Right. So turn toward it. So we'll get turned toward it. 
Ah, there it is, off our left shoulder. Right. right. So, that's A, B, airspeed, best place to land. C, uh, cockpit checks. Well, we just lost the engine for some reason, and we don't know why. That's the so, fuel flow. So what we want to do is uh, find out why. Right. And let's make sure that there's something that uh, didn't happen. So, I got a flow. We start at the bottom, right. come up, and go left. So, what is that flow? Fuel on both. Right. Mixture rich. Power in. This is out. Right. Could be carburetor rising. We come across. Check to make sure this is locked. The uh, choke, um, not the choke, the um, um, primer. Right. And then, if the, if the, if the propeller is windmilling, try single mag operation. Go right. left mag or right mag. Or if the engine is stopped, hit both. Right. Try to start it. Oops, that doesn't work. So, in the meantime, every 30 seconds or so, we're going to clear the engine, put some power to it, keep the thing from loading up in the cylinders, and keep the engine a little warm. Okay, so the next thing is... Let's get the airplane prepared for an off-airport landing. Right. So, down here, fuel, it's up and across. Right. Fuel off. This out. Right. This all the way in, because it produces less drag on the prop. Right. Leave that there. This off, pull the key out, throw it up there. Make sure that's good. So, now we're prepared for an off-airport landing. Right. So, that's A, B, C. D, we need to declare an emergency. Right. Squawk and talk, the two ways to declare. Squawk right. and talk. So this goes to 7,700. Right. We talk, if we're talking to Tower, right now, if this were to happen now, we just call Tower and tell them what we're doing. Right. Right? And then E, do two things. You can turn on your ELT right. early and open the doors. You know why you open the doors? So the... And know that there's an emergency of some well, kind. If you open the door and we hit something on the ground, oh yeah, uh, we might jar the doors shut. But if they're already open, they won't shut. They'll jar open, so we have easy egress when we get done. Right. And then we just fly the airplane and fly the airplane under control right. all the way to the ground. All right. Right. So this is what we're gonna do. Your flight controls flight take controls. me to about 4,000. I'm going to let you walk through that all, all right. by yourself. It's always a good day to review a few emergency procedures. Right. Perfect sight picture for your climb. Perfect. And you're at the perfect BX, uh, BY speed. Nice job. I was doing what you said about keeping that nose on the horizon. It works. I'm telling you, it's, a, it's magic. And then, of course, when you level off, put right. It right there on your fist, and you'll be there within just a quarter of an inch either way. Right. Every time. All right, let's do a 180 and head back to the uh, cowboy field. All right.
Okay. Ready to lose your engine? All right. All right, so carburetor okay. heat out first. All right. And of course, I'm going to bring the engine back smoothly and gently. All right. I'm not going to... Airplane engines like to be handled smoothly and gently, not rough All right. and abruptly. So we're out. So A, airspeed, best glide, get me there. 89. Eggs 80, exactly. So trim it. Get to 80 and trim it. Try to hold it, hold your altitude as you're doing it. And then let it come down at 80 knots. I'm going to clear your engine. All right. All right, you got your, got your 80, right. nice and trimmed in. So what uh, what's next? What's B? Got to check. Best. Best glides. Or best. Best landing yeah. area. Yeah, where's it at? Right Rebel under oil. your shoulder. There right. you go. And then fly to it. C. Oh, there went another oh, one. Oh, boy. There we go. Cockpit checks. Remember the flow. The L. Yep. Both. Mixtures in. Throttles out. Or it, yeah, it's out. Or you could move the throttle. A little right. Bit. But this. RP out. out. Primer locked, locked in. in. And then here we check single mag operation or both. Right. Nothing works. So we go back and do it again. Right. So this now goes to what? Up. Off. Off. This okay. comes out. Out. That goes in. in. This stays, stays out. out. Key off on the out, dash. On the dash. We don't need it anymore. All right, we've done that. Now we squawk and talk for D. Declare what goes in here. Seventy-five hundred. No, Seven, seventy-seven hundred. Seventy-seven. And whoever you're talking to, keep talking to them. Right. If you're not talking to anybody, go to one twenty-one point five. Right. All right. And then the last thing is E. Egress and ELT. Right. So you would push the red button in, ELT, right. and egress is open the door. Right. Now, I'm going to let you see the wind is coming from the west. It's over there. Right. We want to land over here with these uh, farmers, field, with the furrows as best we can. And right. So we can land. I'd like to land back over there. I know it puts us in a little bit of a crosswind, right. but it gives me more place to land. So let's turn back and see if we can set up for a downwind. All right. I'll let you go for another thousand feet. Then we got to terminate this. All right. But clear your engine a little bit. There you go. Nice job. That's how I like to clear. Great job holding your airspeed. I'll tell you what, let's turn in this way. All right. And let's see, when was the last time you did a slip, a uh, forward slip? I done it last week when I come back into solo. I was a little, I was a little high, so I did ah, okay. it. a little one. All right, so let's do a little forward slip here, Will, shall we? All right. All right, so power out. Power's out. All right. Kick rudder, either one, and go opposite aileron. All right, rudder to the right, so we're going to the left. Yeah, yeah, and put your nose down. All right. You're in a cross control. Get, put all that, put all of it in, all that rudder. Put it all in. There you go. And just track down that point. Look at that. Go straight. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. All right, let's terminate this simulated emergency. That's it. That's it. Full power, then carb heat. Beautiful. All right, so if we start heading back now, we'll have just enough time. All right. Nice slip. That Thanks. was really good. They should be my favorite thing to do. I would want to do a slip when I come in the land. I, I think it just looks cool when you're coming in like this. Oh, yeah. Just drop it to the ground. Yep. So let's climb to 3,000 feet. So we're going to put the first thing, which is where you're going to put the cowling. 
right on, on the horizon. horizon. And let this just, it'll give it a few it'll, seconds it'll to react. It'll stabilize 80. Yep. And once it stay, stabilizes around 80, set your trim. Right. Um, I'll tell you what. Now, oh, watch this, watch this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go direct right. here. However, I'm going to throw in 153. And I want to show you what this is going to do. This is the departure corridor. Right. So we want to stay off the, co the corridor. So just where we're at. So right. basically fly toward the downtown. Right. And we'll fly parallel to the departure corridor. And we'll stay out of the way of traffic like those jets taking off straight ahead. Right. What I did, because I went over to like East Bend area, so I, I found my way back to the runway. I was like on the course right here, it's the middle of 3 3. Is where I was headed. Ah, from the angle, yeah, beautiful. I already knew he was going to put me at a left downwind because they were doing pattern work on the right downwind. I was already on the left side of the runway, so I knew he was going to put me at a left downwind. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to pull up Betas and get that. You keep flying. All right. Wind sail, airport information, November 1754, observation, wind 3007, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 190, dew point minus 8, altimeter 3048, runway 33, new spectate, visual approach, nose to airman, runway 422, closed. Taxiway Fox Trice closed from Taxiway Hotel to 1100 right. feet northeast of Taxiway Hotel. Taxiway Fox Trice closed from Taxiway Alpha to approach into runway 4. All aircraft free back, all hold short instructions, sign out to advise you have November. All right, so we got November. 3048 on the altimeter. Wind sail map terminal ramp. Fairly free copy. All right. We are. A5 Yankee's on right down. When are we going to be doing full stop taxi terminal ramp? A5 Yankee runway 33, clear to land. Clear to land. 33, A5 Yankee. Yeah, we'll just do a full stop. All right. Winston Tower, Skyhawk 7125. Nine miles northwest, and that full stop with November. Why is it? Uh, November 7125, Quebec West, turning on left downwind 33. And our left downwind runway 33, 7125, Quebec. Nature crew, man, ground hold position. I still use this paper just to make sure I get it right. That's ah, right. That's my man right there, buddy. Even even though I memorized this whole thing, I still use it just to make sure I say it right. Just in case, exactly. It never hurts just to have that little backup. I, I love that. That's a great, great attitude. That's a great technique. I was just using this on the way back. I would never talk, but I started probably two months ago talking on the way back. That's what I did. Wrote it down everything. Good. Even good, when good. I was solo, I, did, I made sure I had my heading. It wasn't as bumpy as this. I made sure I kept everything level and everything. Right. I wrote it down. I had it done. And I knew I would not mess up anything. No, that's great. That's great. All right, so we're at 3,000. We probably want to start coming down at about 6,000. Right. Uh, at, at six miles, I'm sorry. Tower Air Link 3, uh, I see Signature over on the other side. You may do uh, air taxi over to that side. I affirmative. Good copy. Crew van cross from way one five. All right, so there, here we are. Use caution as a fan there. You see her. Let's go ahead and Just start coming home. Uh, I'll come around to Bring the uh, that out. side of that picture. Take out just enough power to come down by 500 feet per minute. And it's already, we're already doing it. I think Ben will go to get your crew van. Just a time. little bit more out. All right. What's the tower, Air Care 3, is at nine miles to the northeast uh, with November. I'd like to transition the uh, east side of the field uh, southbound to Lexington. Air Care 3, Winston Tower, prove as equipment. All right, nice job. You know, I think it's bumpier okay. the higher you go. Yeah, we got 4,500. Old time up and down, up and down. Yeah. It's not too bad down here. No, it's. I'm not saying it's great down here, but it's better than it is up there. Yeah. Whatever one mic, Romeo, runway 33, clear to touch and go. After this touch and go, you can depart northbound and uh, just remain the frequency for now. 101 mic, Crow. 
Romeo, clear 33 northbound on the departure stand. Frequency 1, Mike Romeo. All right, 200 feet to level. You want me to leave the power where it's at? Just level off. Yeah. So they're going 115 yeah. yards. Yeah, you don't even have to touch it. You may have to add a little bit once we level off. Right. So D5, you can make the next left turn, taxi to ramp via Alpha Fox truck cross runway four. Lift on Delta A5 Indian, uh, Alpha Fox truck. See the highway that parallels yep. the runway? That's a great offset for the downwind. And there's your altitude. Right. Winston Tower, 7125, Quebec established, left downwind, runway 33. Winston Tower, Quebec, roger, runway 33, clear to land. Traffic's uh, Cherokee, turning over about a half a mile final. Clear to land, runway 33, 7125, Quebec. I got the traffic. He's turning base to final. Uh, over there from the right base to the final. Oh, check, I see him now. Air carrier three, traffic assessed on the left downwind runway three three. Looking for Seth Watch Dahl, left downwind. Right. I believe I have him in sight, sir. Air carrier three, Roger. Pass behind the Seth on the left downwind. Understand that was passed behind him. Air carrier three, affirmative. That's the two five Quebec. Are you turning base? Not yet, sir. Be about uh, ten seconds. Roger. Doug, uh, do you do your pattern like this? Yep. What's your power? Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Add some power in, just right. a little bit. Now you're going to have a tailwind on base, so get ready. Uh, it's going to be a quick run to the. Air three. He's turning base now. You still have him in sight. I do, sir. Air three, Roger. Cessna uh, two five back traps the helicopter by mile east has you in sight. Gonna pass behind you southwest bound. Copy, sir. Thank you. So one two five back. And I can feel it pushing clear. me. I'm heading towards the okay, midfield. Power, 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 power out. Power out. Power out. Power out. Again now. Air three. We affirmative need, behind hold you. Hold it. Let's slip. Slip. Hard right rudder. Left down. Let's go. You get it down. Get it down. Get it. Down. He's on. Uh, Get your nose Same turn Get your nose there. Right. I do. Uh, I was turning behind him on his downwind, but now he's turned final. I got to turn the other way. Okay. God, damn. Damn, helicopter? All right. We're in the white arc. And yeah, and uh, Air 3, you can proceed on. Let's go ahead and bring in some flaps. All right. Sure, thank you. 20 degrees. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Power's idle? Yeah, I, yeah absolutely idle. Right. Careful, we're fast. Right. Oops. We're a little nose low. Western Tower, 7125, Quebec. Taxi to terminal ramp. This is 25, Quebec. Turn left on uh, Delta. Taxi to ramp via Alpha Fox Truck. Cross runway 4. Left on Delta, right on. Left on Delta, right Alpha, cross 422 to the ramp, sub 125, Quebec. Checky, one Mike Romeo, resume on navigation. That was my fault on the power. Good day. What's that? That was my fault on the power. Resume on navigation on course. You're fine. One Mike Romeo, thank you for the help. Air Care 3, appreciate the help for exchange to prove. I did not see that helicopter anywhere. Good day. I don't know how he's seen us, but I didn't see him nowhere. I never saw the son of a gun, and I thought... Now there he is. He must have been really low. Where was he? Well, uh, it must have been. He 45 now. I don't know where he was at. Right. Should have been coming that damn close. Yeah, he shouldn't have ever took him behind. I should have told him just to hover where he was at. Something. Okay, so let's go watch this. Right. Put that away. Light off. 
Right. Just go left to right. Here, this. Right. Stand Goodbye. by. Thousand. Clean for taxi. Right. Flaps up. Way. Trim for takeoff. Fuel on both. Now we can go. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. It works. Yeah, that guy, you know, he created too much issue being so damn close to the runway. He should right. have backed it away. You're absolutely right, Ben. He That was bad airmanship. Right. Bad decision-making skills on his part. It happened to me before. It was my second solo. I was by myself doing pattern work. And it got, the controller told me to turn base. I was turning base. And it, there was Craig and somebody else was coming in to land, but they had just turned base from the other, they were on left traffic, I was on right traffic. I was going to turn, I see them like 300 feet off the right front. I was like, oh crap. I put oh, power in, I turned the steep left to get out of the way. <laughs> he told me to turn base, and they just turned base right there where oh I was my at. God. It was further out than I was. I turned mine a little short like that on accident. It was out already, wow. coming in. That's a, it's happened to me before. Them, Doing stuff like that. Yeah. Sometimes they just try to get everyone out too quick. Let me see where are airplanes out at the flight school. Nobody's really near that jet over there. Yeah, that, I don't like it when those jets park there. Okay, it looks like we got one. Two, three. You see the Cessna on our farthest right? Right. We're going to park just to the other side of him. All right. Clear left, clear right. Now we're going to turn our lights on. All right. Clear. Good. I'm sorry, ground. Was that hold short? Tie ground, cross runway 15. Crossing 15. Thank you. So what we'll do, we'll get here, cross the runway, and we'll turn left. All right. Kick your rudder. There you go. Ah, excellent, excellent. Right here, that's good. Right here, right, right here, right here. Right. Checklist time. Stand by. 